Welcome to New India Junction. This is Divya Singh Sharma from NIG Studios. Let's look at the week's highlights until 29th August 2022. India's youth is scripting history in sports. India bagged 16 medals including one gold medal, four silver medals and 11 bronze medals at the under 20 World Wrestling Championships 2022 in Sofia, Bulgaria. Chirag Shetty and Satvik Sai Raj Ranki Reddy bagged a bronze medal in the men's doubles badminton semi-finals. of the ongoing BWF World Championships in Tokyo and last but definitely not the least Neeraj Chopra became the first Indian to clinch the Diamond League meet title and claim the top spot at Lausanne Diamond League home march to people of Kutch on 26 January 2001 Gujarat's Kutch district reported a powerful quake of 7.7 magnitude which upended the lives of around 3.78 crore people A museum to honor the victims of the earthquake Smriti Van has been built near Bhuj town. The name plates of the victims who died in the 2001 earthquake have been put on the dam's wall. PM Modi also inaugurated the Veer Balak Memorial, a memorial built on the outskirts of Anjar town in Kutch district as a tribute to the school children and the teachers who died during the 2001 earthquake in Gujarat. And now let's look at some more interesting stories from this week from our anchor Richa. Namaste you're with me on NIJ Weekly. Let's take a look at the biggest stories this week. Prime Minister Modi dedicated Asia's largest private hospital in Faridabad to the nation. Amrita Hospital has 2600 beds and is equipped with 81 specialty departments and cutting edge technology including a centralized fully automated laboratory. He also inaugurated the 300 bed Homi Bhabha Cancer Hospital and Research Center in Punjab's Mohali. In a significant boost to the infrastructure in the country Prime Minister Modi inaugurated the iconic Atal Bridge over the Sabarmati River in Ahmedabad. The 357.18 km long Kutch branch canal was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi built at a cost of approximately rupees 6000 crores. The KBC is the longest branch canal in the world and will provide water for irrigation to 182 villages and drinking water in 948 villages. Prime Minister Modi in his Man Ki Baat address lauded the toy industry for achieving success no one could have imagined as toy exports from India soared to rupees 2000 600 crores from merely 3 to 400 crores in the past he hailed the youngsters startups and entrepreneurs for this feat iran is ready to sign a long term contract with india on developing the chabahar port to realize its true potential in the coming years chabahar port can become the gateway for indian trade with europe russia and cis countries and also turn into one of the most important ports in the world in the near future thank you rucha for those interesting stories from around the world now there was an event khadi utsav and our lifestyle anchor joins us to tell us more about it let's hear it from shivani if there is one enduring symbol of make in india it is indeed khadi prime minister narendra modi on august 27th attended the khadi utsav event in ahmedabad as part of the azadi ka amrit mahotsav the khadi utsav is being organized at sabarmati river front ahmedabad to pay tribute to khadi and its importance during the freedom struggle Around 7500 women Khadi artisans from various districts of Gujarat participated in this event. The PM also urged the citizens to gift Khadi products during the coming festive season. He added that the Khadi became the force of the freedom movement and broke the chains of slavery during the colonial rule. It can also become an inspiration to make India developed and self-reliant by 2047 and for that we will have to promote it. Thank you Shivani for that interesting story. Finally, the best for the last. the most viral and noteworthy event from this week prime minister narendra modi has once again topped the list of world's most popular leaders with an approval rating of 75% according to a morning consult survey earlier in january 22 and in november 21 prime minister modi had topped the list of the most popular world leaders as well This platform provides real-time polling data on political elections, elected officials and voting issues. For its survey, Morning Consult conducts more than 20,000 global interviews daily. Isn't that interesting? On that high note, we will take your leave. That's all from us at New India Junction Studios. Tune in again next week. That's Divya Singh Sharma signing off.